This video was made to inform you. This video took me around 3 days to edit so make sure that you leave a like and a subscribe. Watch the video until the end or you will become a newbie. Um. The player can obtain tickets as a reward for acquiring badges. Collecting badges gives 5 tickets for earning cadet badges, 10 tickets for earning hotshot badges, 15 tickets for earning ace badges, 25 tickets for earning master badges and 40 tickets for earning grandmaster badges. The player can buy tickets from the ticket shop, located outside the mountaintop shop. Very rarely. Flowers will generate a ticket token instead of a honey or tree token when collecting pollen. The base probability is around 1 1000th, 0.1%, although it does increase with loot luck. Some bears give tickets as rewards for completing quests. There is a chance of getting a ticket as a reward for defeating mobs. Collecting pollen from sparkles may yield tickets whether or not it is from faces or fireflies. There are ticket tokens hidden in various places. Redeeming certain valid codes. 38,217 Bop Master Cog Crawlers Roof Connoisseur Discord 100k Wax Wink 1M Like Buying them from the Robux shop. Purchasing certain packs in the Robux shop. Popping a normal, rare, epic, legendary, supreme, or festive sprout often yields ticket tokens. Honey storms are guaranteed to spawn ticket tokens increments of 1 to 3. The wealth clock gives tickets every hour after interacting with it, and increases incrementally every hour, stopping at the 5th as a rare drop from festive gifts, winning them from normal, mega, and extreme memory matches. Through a cub buddy gift, the commando chick will always drop one ticket upon being captured. Capturing it on the 25th time gives 100 tickets. As a common drop from a meteor, Fully grown ticket planters grant at least 10 or more tickets when harvested. As a drop from stockings. Snow Bear grants tickets upon defeat. Spending tickets at the gumdrop shop, 3 gumdrops per ticket. As a drop from certain mobs. Anywhere from 0 to 2,500 gumdrops per mob. Depending on loot luck and the type of mob. As a drop from leaves in the stump field. Destroying a gummy sprout or a festive sprout. Crafting them in the blender for 3 blueberries, strawberries, and pineapples. As a reward for completing certain black bear and brown bear quests. Receiving science bear's chemical analysis quest also gives the player 10 gumdrops. As a gift from a festive gift. Through a cub buddy gift. As a possible reward for participating in the stick bug challenge. As a common drop from catching mythic meteors. As a drop from the ticket. Festive plastic candy, red clay, blue clay, pesticide, and petal planter. As a drop from puff shrooms. Redeeming certain valid codes. Discord 100k 500 mil gum drops for science bees buzz 123 mosquito 100 t1m likes 10m members. Defeating the coconut crab grants many coconuts. Popping sprouts in the coconut field. Finding them in token form in the coconut field. 
there is a token worth 10 coconuts in the palm tree closest to Spirit Bear, claiming them from the coconut dispenser, from leaves in the coconut field, redeeming certain valid codes. Mosito 100T1M like winning them from Mega Memory Match and Extreme Memory Match, available in increments of 3 and 5 respectively. Purchasing certain packs from the Robux shop. As a rare gift from Cub Buddy in increments of 1. As a drop from an armored aphid. Harvesting planters that are planted in the coconut field. Defeating Rogue Vicious B always grants stingers. The number of stingers dropped depends on a number of factors. A rare drop from a Rage Aphid, Armored Aphid, Scorpion or Spider. Capturing certain amounts of Commando Chicks will drop stingers. Buying it from the Stinger shop found at the Ant Pass area, one Stinger per 10 tickets. A rare drop from leaves in the cactus field. Donating certain items to the Wind Shrine, X, Ant Passes and receiving specific badge rewards battle, clover, spider, cactus or rose. Completing certain quests Bee Bear, Black Bear and Spirit Bear. Redeeming certain valid codes, using the code, Mosito 100T, using the code, 1M likes, winning it from the Mega, Night or Extreme Memory matches. Buying certain packs from the Robux shop by buying the precise pack will grant you 150 stingers and other items. Very rarely, as a cub buddy gift. Buying the Night Bundle in B Bear's catalog for 1,000 snowflakes gives 25 stingers and other items. As a drop from planters harvested in the cactus field. Opening certain gift boxes. The Midnight Gift Box gives 60 stingers plus other stuff. Catching, fall and snowflakes on fields. During snowstorms, snowflakes fall much more often. Players can use the snow machine to summon snowstorms after completing gifted bucko bees bees miss quest. As a drop from the following mobs rhino beetle, mantis, spider, stick nymph, diamond aphid, wild windy bee, festive nymph, mondo chick, Reducing Snow Bear's health by quarters drops snowflakes that everyone can collect. Opening certain gift boxes across the map. As a drop from a festive sprout. As a reward from Beesmith's quest. The Snow Globe Bequip gives the buff. Rarely drop when defeating mobs, such as a rhino beetle, mantis werewolf, tunnel bear and aphid, or guaranteed drop from coconut crab and mondo chick. Completing some of Black Bear's star jelly quests and Black Bear's mythic egg quests, 15 in total. Completing some of Spirit Bear's quests. Completing 10, 30, 70, 155, 170, 215, and 270 brown bear quests will reward an additional 5 microconverters, and completing 80 will reward an additional 10 microconverters. Redeeming certain valid codes. A rare gift from Festive Gifts. As a rare drop from Festive Mark. As a reward from donating to the Wind Shrine. Matching a pair of microconverters in memory matches, available in increments of 1, 2, 3 or 5 depending on which memory match. 
rarely through a cub buddy gift in increments of one or five. A token behind Black Bear in between the Red HQ and the Windy B Gate. Harvesting a blue clay planter as a drop from the stockings. Drop when defeating festive nymphs. As a drop from mobs. As a drop from plastic planter, candy planter, red clay planter, blue clay planter, tacky planter, pesticide planter and petal planter. Planters in blue flower field. Rose field and especially sunflower field give honeysuckles more often than other fields. The blue clay planter specifically drops more honeysuckles than other planters. Opening certain gift boxes. The gilded gift box gives 20 honeysuckles. From certain bees related quests. Purchasing the honeysuckle bundle from Bee Bear's catalog rewards 150 honeysuckles, 15 oils, and 1 honeybee jelly. As a drop from using the samovar. Starts from 3, increases by 1 each use and caps at 30. As a reward from the 2021 Winter Memory Match. Giving on it a present grants the player 25 honeysuckles and other items. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> As a rare drop from mobs, such as rhino beetles and manises. As a drop from certain planters. Planters harvested in the pine tree forest are guaranteed to drop whirligigs. As a reward from quests. In secret locations, such as inside the beesmus tree. Opening certain gift boxes across the map, beige gift box gives 10 whirligigs and other items. Nom, nom, nom. As a drop from mobs, such as aphids, ladybugs, scorpions, spiders, wild windy bee, werewolf and mondo chicks. A rare drop from festive gift, a festive bee is gifted. A rare drop festive mark as a reward by donating to the Wind Shrine through a Cub Buddy gift as a drop from specific planters. The Blue Clay Planter, Paper Planter, and the Planter of Plenty can't drop field dice as a drop from stockings. Completing some of Black Bear's Star Jelly quests Completing some of Brown Bear's quests. Completing some of Spirit Bear's quests. It can be crafted in the blender for one soft wax, one whirligig, one red extract, and one blue extract. Redeeming certain valid codes. Matching a pair of field dice in memory match. By crafting in the blender for 3 to field dice, 3 soft wax, 3 whirligigs, and 3 oils. A token of it can be found on the roof of Dapper Bear's shop. From a token in the Beesmus tree. As a drop from mobs. As a drop from Petal Planter, the planter of plenty. This is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure that you leave a like and a subscribe for the part 2, cause we have another 3 videos to show.